Forbes contributor Jim Williams put out an article last week entitled, The Pac-12's Leadership Needs to Ink a New Media Deal, Then Starts ACC Merger Talks. So I guess we're back on this idea. The Pac-12 merging with basically anybody. Like there was talk of a potential Pac-12, Big 12 merger. At one point late last summer, we had discussed this ACC Pac-12 merger. But uh, Bubba Cunningham, North Carolina AD, had mentioned it to his university chancellor. In documents released through a FOIA request, he texted, should we explore a partnership with the Big 12 or the Pac-12? And the chancellor, uh, Kevin Guskowitz, I hope I said that right, uh, responded, we could have a super conference both athletically and academic. Probably would need to be called the Atlantic Pacific Athletic Conference, APAC. Uh, he said, maybe that's crazy, but it would get us a better TV deal. It may be worth considering. Interesting. And and that's what it's all about, right? The ACC is now in a situation where their highest profile members, at least as far as athletics and, and eyeballs are concerned, are beginning to voice their discontent with how their current media rights deals are structured. Uh, that same deal that former Commissioner John Swafford thought would help secure the conference for the long haul. You know, the, the Scotty Pippen issue. Underpaid, but guaranteed for a long time. Uh, the North Carolina AD continued on. He said, we need to think about what outcomes we want. What are our priorities? Do we want to maintain all teams in the ACC? Is this a new league? Do we want to have the same number of teams at each school? Uh, should we play a national schedule or a regional schedule? Uh, but this conversation took place right after USC and UCLA bolted the Pac-12 for the Big Ten. Like, everyone was in a panic at that point. Uh, there's there's not really a way that this could work, right? Uh, at least you wouldn't assume so. But Williams does go on in his article to say this. Uh, he said, There remains an open channel between the ACC and the Pac-12 about ways they can work together in the future. Merger talks are not a dream or a media-hyped story. There is clearly room for some serious conversation. Now, he's not necessarily wrong, right? Like We've talked for quite some time about the idea of the Big Ten and the SEC eventually reaching 20-plus teams. Uh, the college football universe has had open discussions about what it would look like if and even when the biggest brands in the sport eventually pull away from conferences and just go to something that looks closer to an NFL model. Like Honestly, you have to admit the fact that you know Vanderbilt and Georgia are considered playing the same sport is a bit comical when you really think about it. But either way, at the end of the day, this really is, is all about those valuable TV dollars, right? The SEC and Big Ten expanded in the early 2010s with with who could secure the most TV households for their conference TV network. And, and while the SEC network and the Big Ten network aren't exactly going anywhere, uh, the ACC network is still in its infancy. Uh, you know, the ACC is not looking to necessarily expand as much as they're looking to completely partner with another smaller conference that has big brand. And I guess an absolutely spectacular academic reputation, something that means quite a bit to the presidents in both of those conferences. So the question then is, what would a merger offer? Like Williams continues on, he says, an, at, uh, an Atlantic Pacific Athletic Conference could offer media partners some outstanding big name college sports brands in all four time zones, starting at noon on the East Coast, heading into the Central Mountain, and ending the night on the Pacific Coast. We're talking Boston College, Pitt, and Syracuse in the East, Clemson, Florida State, Georgia Tech, Miami, and North Carolina in the South, uh, for now, SMU in the Central, if they were to be added to the Pac-12, of course, Colorado and Utah in the mountains, and then uh, it's the Arizona schools, Cal, Stanford, and the Oregon and Washington schools out West. Now, for me, just think of some of the matchups that you could reasonably see from this. Uh, Clemson versus Oregon, Washington versus Florida State, Utah versus North Carolina, Miami versus Arizona State, Colorado versus Pitt. Like, you could schedule it in such a way that the conference plays nine games, and you can do six versus regional foes and three versus the other coach. It, it would take forever to rotate matchups, but the games would honestly never get old. You'd basically have a new schedule every year with the market sizes and the number of schools, the possibility of being able to schedule games in all four time windows. The idea is actually intriguing, uh, but there's also the question of whether or not this would make financial sense for ESPN, who already has a sweetheart deal with the ACC and who has already said that they're not going to pay more for the Pac-12 than what it's actually worth. Andrew Marshan reported in the fall that ESPN and the Pac-12 were hundreds of millions of dollars apart on their potential media rights deal. So if ESPN already has the ACC, and they could get the Pac-12 for even cheaper. Why would they offer more money to more schools from leagues that they already have better deals with? And there's a couple of reasons here, right? First, it would generate better matchup. Like, you'd have to find a way to get Oregon and Washington and, and Florida State, Clemson, and Miami to play pretty often. Like, brands versus brands will have to matter. And second, you know, ESPN could come to the realization that by allowing the bigger brands in each conference to pull in significantly less money than their peers in the SEC and the Big Ten over a long period of time, uh, they would effectively be diminishing the value of those brands that they've currently got on the cheap. Like, is there a way to maybe do unequal revenue sharing with the biggest brands here while still allowing the other schools a conference where they can compete and survive? Like, possible. At the end of the day, Williams closes with the correct idea here. He said, uh, this is a very ambitious plan, and many things have to go right uh, for the Pac-12 and ACC merger, but key people on both sides think that it is worth exploring. So, 
The Pac-12 needs to sign a new media deal and start being creative with the ACC to see what comes next for both leagues. And for the Pac-12, the Big 12, and the ACC to survive going forward, they're going to have to get creative. Like, Brett Yarmark and, and the Big 12 are already trying to capitalize on a market inefficiency with college basketball. Could the Pac-12 and ACC be creative enough to put together a merger that makes sense? Like, only time is going to tell this, but if they don't do anything, like, it, it's really only a matter of time until both conferences go the way of the old Southwest Conference. Just my two cents on it. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.